Now, in this lecture, we are going to discuss a new subject, which is periradicular or periradicular surgery, or sometimes we can also call it endodontic surgery. Actually, endodontic surgery includes many surgical operations. These are include incision and drainage, corrective surgery, replantation, and so on. So, in this lecture, we are going to discuss a section of the procedure which includes resection of the apical third and also tertiary, or apical, or apical tertiary, which is removal of the apical pathosis. By definition, the abscectum procedure, it means, or it can be defined as surgical removal of the apical third of the root, so that to obtain good apical seal and also removal of uh, apical or periapical pathosis. Usually, the periapical pathosis is established when there is contamination of the periapical area with microorganisms, with bacteria. And usually, the source of this bacteria from the root canal. So, when the bacteria move through the root canal and contaminate the periapical area, it will lead to establishment of periapical pathosis. So, for acceptable procedure, there are certain indications. And also there is contraindication. For, for the indications of a second procedure, there are two types. There are some abnormalities associated with the tooth or teeth. And also there are some indications related to the operator, what we call procedural error. So it can be defined or it can be divided into abnormalities within the tooth or procedural error. For those abnormalities of the tooth, in case of calcified canal or canal calcification. So in this case, we cannot perform conventional root canal treatment or non-surgical uh, endodontic treatment. So in this case, we can do acceptable procedure. Also, in case of severe root curvature, so it is difficult to do reaming and piling and to obturate the canal. Also, it could be indication of acceptable procedure. In case of constricted canals, the canal is very narrow, so also one of the indications of acceptable procedure. In case of failure, conventional root canal treatment, as we can see here, there is periapical pathosis. This is due to underfilling. So this is because of the underfilling. This will lead to establishment of the periapical pathosis, and this is uh, we can consider one of the failure or failure of the endodontic treatment, conventional endodontic treatment. Here. In case of horizontal root fracture, also this is difficult to be repaired or difficult to be obturated by conventional, so abscectal procedure or surgical procedure is more indicated. In case of conventional root canal treatment, failed to resolve the large periphical pathosis. So this is conventional root canal treatment. The tooth has been treated by conventional root canal treatment, but the periphical pathosis is still present. So it is uh, the conventional root canal treatment failed to resolve the periphical pathosis. In case of external or internal root resorption, also it was difficult to obturate the canal, and also in case of aberrant root canal, because the, there is uh, separation of the canal and this is difficult to be obturated. The procedural error, which is also one of the indications for the second procedure, can include overextension because this overextension it may lead to rotate the uh, periapical area and establishment of the periapical pathosis or due to perforation, which is uh, due to error during uh, in the conventional root canal treatment, or due to broken instrument. So it is difficult to retrieve this broken instrument, so an exceptional is indicated. Also, a case of ledging because severe character, so ledging of the root. In case of ceramic crown or bridge, also could be one of the indications of a sectomy procedure. Since there is indications, there is contraindications. And the contraindications could be local or systemic. The systemic, any systemic disease, for example, in case of leukemia, in case of hemophilia, in case of uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, in case of toxicosis, all of these actual or patient taking antiplatelets or patient taking anticoagulants, all of these could be considered as the contraindications of the spectrum procedure. Local causes or local factors include 
periodontally unhealthy teeth in case of uh, bone resorption or bone loss and grade 3 teeth mobility. So also this is one of the contraindications. Traumatic occlusion cannot be corrected, also contraindication. Severely carious teeth, that means the tooth is not restorable and in case of an uh, unidentified cause of treatment failure. Why there is failure of the conventional treatment, conventional care treatment, we, we don't know. So in this case, uh, it is actually we cannot do surgical operation because we don't know what is the cause of the failure. Another local uh, contraindications include uh, uh, surgical inaccessibility in case of upper or lower posterior teeth, in case of short root lengths, because this is related to poor crown to root ratio because during a second procedure, we resect the apical third, so this will lead to jeopardize the stability of the tooth. In case of missing cortical plate, also, and uh, poor bone support, as I mentioned, due period to periodontal disease, in case of proximity of the teeth to uh, maxillary sinus or to neurovascular bundle, as in case of inferior uh, alveolar nerve or blood vessel. So, this is we know now the indications and contraindications. Now we move to uh, examination. So there is intraoral and extraoral examination, just like tooth extraction. We have to examine the patient, and then we can reach to the, to the diagnosis by using a parabic radiograph or sometimes OPG or topantography graph in order to reach to the diagnosis. The abscessal procedure includes several steps. Incision and the frappe reflection, parabical exposure to locate the root apex because all the surgical procedure includes the apical third of the tooth. Parabical cure touch and root resection. Root end resection, actually, these are sometimes we can do uh, root end resection before parabical cure touch, but some people using parabical cure touch before root end resection. Orthograde and retrograde filling. This will be explained later on. First of all, incision and the flap reflection. Either we can use two sided flap or three sided flap. Most commonly, three sided flap because it provides more accessibility and visibility. Location or locate the root apex. There are three methods to locate the root apex because this is. When you locate the root epic, we can do osteotomy procedure. Osteotomy that means removal, bone removal. So this is can be, I mean, locate root epic could be tactile and visual method. Actually, this depends on the condition of the buccal cortical plate. If the buccal cortical plate distracted due to uh, parabical pathosis resorption and destruction of the buccal cortical plate, so it can be seen after flap reflection can be seen, and it is very easy to locate the root epic. But sometimes for example, in case of upper lateral incisor, the root inclined palatally. So in this case, it is difficult to find the buccal cortical plate intact. So it cannot be, uh, uh, there is no bone destruction, so it is difficult to locate the apical plate. So we can use actually radiograph with root, with root and bone topography. Depends on the topography. Sometimes there is eminence or some feature of the uh, anatomical feature can, uh, can be used to uh, determine the apical third of the tooth. Actually, we can take or we can uh, insert Rima and file and take radiograph, and also this can be used to locate the apical third of the tooth. We can use also methylene blue, which is not common because this is dye can be taken by the uh, bone. Nowadays, people using guided endodontic plate. This is guided endodontic plate, plate based on uh, actually, the template used a dental implant. So this is, as we can see here, this is the template, and uh, this is the hole here through which the tree find. This is actually very important, or can be used to uh, locate the osteotomy side, and also the depth, the diameter of the bone removal, and also can be used for angulation because this is the side where the bear can be inserted. And also uh, through guided endodontic template can be uh, used to. Uh, root resection to do root resection. So it is very important to locate the size, depth, diameter, and also angulation during uh, osteotomy that means bone removal and also could be used uh, during root resection. Here we can see 
that after one year, more removal will create the difficulty of the 